Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We have three important questions to discuss today. One, who should Manchester United sign? Two, which position need to be reinforced in the Manchester United squad? Three, which player Manchester United to set out of the team? Those are three major important questions we have to discuss today. So sit back and enjoy it. Please do subscribe to the channel, like, share, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. According to a report, Manchester United have opened talk direct with uh, Barcelona midfielder from the young. Manchester United are hoping to with the midfielder already contact uh, Barcelona about the availability of the midfielder. Manchester United said to launch their first piece of major signing signing for this uh, for the summer transfer business. According to um, Fabrizio Romano, he made it clear that uh, Manchester United, the Red Devil, are hoping to talk to sign. Um, Barcelona midfielder Frank De Jong. This is good opportunity for Manchester United to get this midfielder because we cannot depend on Fred and McTominay alone in the midfield. We need a midfielder who can do the defensive and uh, progressing the ball. Who can dictate game when we are in critical position? Who can dictate the match? Why I say it's a good opportunity, according to news, Barcelona cannot register Frank Casey and Christensen because of their financial problem. So they need to sell for them to register those two players. So this is a great opportunity for us, Manchester United, to get this player. And then the young will fit very well in a, a return act. 433 information because they already play with him way back in time of Ayas. So he know it very well, he can utilize him very well. The young 25 is a is believed to be a top priority for the new manager, Eritan Hag, who has previously know the player very well when they are working in Ayas. However, with the Red Devil enabled to offer the Ladana International Champions League next season, getting a deal cross the line will not be easy. But because of the case, the problem of Barcelona, a financial problem, it will it look there is a way, easy way for it because the young like to play under a retired ag. Even, even after he interview, who said that I, I, he don't look, he, don't, he like to remain in Barcelona. Undermining that with this problem in Barcelona now, Barcelona will say if they don't say they can't recruit any player. So they will say. The second question: Which position might you see reinforce? For me. We need a good midfielder. If we can get the young, we, we need other more good midfielder. If we cannot get the Corais because it's too expensive, we should look for Bosuma in a Brighton. It's a good midfielder. Because our midfield, we need re uh, reinforcement because the lack of for Pogba, Jensen Lingard, John Mata, and Matic are set to depart from whole travel. So we need a, a good reinforcement in the midfield, not a bench warmer. We need a player who can impact in the team. Other, other part again, we need a good striker because Cavani is, is going departing. Left with Ole Ronaldo in the top nine. 
we cannot rely, rely our full OP Rolando. Not Rolando is not good, it's good, but we need who we support him. So the board and the owner need to stand behind to have for a one important signing to make the coming season be at least to get into the Champions League position. Because we look now, total I'm already in force their team. So for us to get into the top position, we need a good player. So what do you think? Should uh, Manchester United sign Frandy Young? Or who do you think Manchester United should sign? Please leave the player name in the comment section below. So in the next video, we can discuss it and see how it will fit to Manchester United team. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.